guys welcome back to my channel i haven't actually done um a journal video in quite a long time so um i was asked um by my very good friend daisy of my green cow um who's been collaborating with meg journals and some other content creators to ask if i'd like to take part in the 12 days of christmas journaling and i said yes and my day is today day three the third of december and the prompt for today is Christmas and memories. Um, so that is what I'm journaling about. Um, you don't, ha you know, you can take part in this, in this just relaxed, low key prompts if you want to. Um, if you check out um, the links in the description below or my Instagram, I will pop the, the prompts there for you. So you can go and do those you know, you can do them as and when you want, you can, it's only 12 days, you know, you don't have to do them all in December, you know, you've got the rest of the year in which you can kind of go back and do them, it's a no pressure kind of thing, so if you're looking to kind of kickstart your journal with some Christmassy things, then maybe have a look at the prompts and also check out all the other creators who are doing the prompts as well, because you might get inspired by, by them, everyone has a different style and a different way of doing things, um, as I said, uh, it's it's been a while for me, if I'm perfectly honest. I haven't done any journaling. I haven't, and I, and I kind of felt like, because my prompt was Christmas memories, I definitely felt like this was a prompt with a photo, a photo of Christmas past. And I haven't really done any scrapbooky style journaling for a while. I've just been focusing on art, on drawing, on painting and on writing. So it was kind of nice for me to stretch those creative muscles a little bit. Um, but yeah, felt a little bit out of practice. <laughs> so Christmas memories, I decided to choose a picture of me when I was younger. I don't know how old I was in this, um, in this photo. I want to say about four or five, so about 1985-ish, I guess. Um, standing in front of a Wendy house, which I clearly got for Christmas do not remember, and a stack of Christmas presents. No idea what was in those Christmas presents. And that is kind of what I wanted to convey, that um, as adults, we put a lot of emphasis and stress and worry on ourselves with buying the right presents, you know, getting loads of presents for the kids and rah, 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 rah. And to be fair, a lot of kids do also want all the presents as well. Um, but I can't remember what was in any of those Christmas presents. I can't remember what I got for most Christmases. I can remember the odd special Christmas toy, that kind of thing. But generally speaking, I cannot remember what I got for Christmas on any given year or what have you. But I can remember things like we used to go to midnight mass with my nan on Christmas Eve. Um, I used to, my dad always used to take me into work on Christmas Eve. That was what they did in his company. The kids used to go in with the men, which kind of gave the women at home chance to kind of like get some stuff done, which as a mother now, I can so see the benefit of that. You know, we used to roast chestnuts on the fire. We used to sing carols on a Sunday around our Christmas tree. I used to sit and watch Fanny Craddock or Delia Smith's Christmas with my mom on a Sunday. That is what I remember. I remember my grandma playing twister and showing her knickers I remember the one year there was a huge argument with my cousin you know those are the things that you remember you remember the experiences um and that, so that is what I'm trying to really do for my children I'm trying to like yes they're gonna get presents and stuff but I'm trying to do lots of different experiences but repeat repetitively to try and ingrain those memories like we always now go for a walk to find foliage to make ornaments with we always make our own christmas crackers out of cardboard tubes we always make a yule log on christmas eve and we always make um mince pies to leave out for father christmas on christmas eve those kind of things we do them every single year and what's really lovely is that kind of that repetitiveness is really starting to work because my daughter was like oh i can't wait till we make our yule log again this year mum and that is just like magic for me that is the Christmas magic um so that is what I kind of wanted to document about as like thinking back on the Christmas past and you know yeah the presents are great but it's the memories it's the memories of the experiences that are important to me so I printed my photos out onto sticker paper which I often do saves all the mess and faff with glue and tape and all that kind of stuff and then just 
use loads of different collage elements that I've got in my stash <laughs> um, to surround it. A bit of journaling to um, make my point. And then as I was journaling, I suddenly thought about my other nan. I don't have either of my nans now, bless them. Um, and um, I also printed out a photo of my of my um, other nan. I hardly got to know her at all, really. She died when I was like seven. And I just really don't remember her at all. Like I, I hardly saw her. She lived a long way away. So I, I hardly saw her. Um, and, do you know, I would give up so much you know, I'd give up all the, I'd give up all my presents, I would give up all the overindulging on all the food, I would give up all of that stuff just to be able to have a Christmas with my nan again, you know, as an adult that I could talk to her and know who she was and find out about her, so yeah, deep man, deep heavy, <laughs> did you come here for a heavy video, um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where I was going with my, um, with my journaling I know very very deep so yeah I hope you enjoyed it I'm just gonna let the video um play out now because it's all self-explanatory and I hope you enjoyed it and please go to the description of the video below and click on all the other links that are there so that you can see all the other um content creators 11 other content creators who have done a video for you and all the prompts and everything so you can have a go if you want to and if you don't want to you can just enjoy some Christmas journaling videos. Merry Christmas you guys!